Hey good people, it's the new moon and time to set some intentions. My name is Rick Astor and this reading is specifically for the new moon of May 19th, 2023. The new moon is often a good time to let go of the past, decide what you want to create in the future, set something specific in mind for the two weeks between the new moon and the full moon. The theme I'm getting from the Voyage of the Soul Oracle is Limitless. So as a theme for a new moon reading, this seems to say the sky's the limit, or think big in terms of how much change you want to create in these next two weeks. I'll get the tarot cards from the Late Seer's Tarot. For the current situation, the Knight of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups, Strength, where things are heading or where you're trying to get to, the Two of Swords. The King of Swords, the Empress, your thoughts, Two of Wands, going back and forth, feelings, Knight of Swords in reverse, hard to get moving, I guess, hard to know what to do, supporting energy, the Hermit in reverse. And the outcome, the devil. So starting with what looks like the recent past, you fought the good fight. You're happy with the way things came out. You don't really want to do any more there. And so you're looking at the world and asking what's next. So now you feel stuck. You feel like you don't know what to do. And I feel this must be because you're looking at what you've already completed and there really isn't more to do there. But there is going to be something new to do with this new power and status you've gained from what you've just completed. You're going to be in a more stable energy and you know that something will come out of that. For the supportive energies, the Hermit in reverse, you've done some of your recent work on your own and in that process you've discovered some things about yourself but what you've discovered is that there are places or pursuits in the world where you now realize you don't belong or goals you previously held that feel wrong or that you feel you need to drop at this point. And then in the outcome, the devil, I think you feel called to focus on the material realm now. You want to create a financial result or something in the material world or something in your home or something in your health or you want to get a better deal for yourself? Well, I feel like I have more questions than answers here, but let's start with the Hermit in reverse and the supporting energy. What is this that you've realized about yourself? What goals are you dropping? The card is the Page of Wands in reverse. I'd better get another card here. I have two more cards. The Empress in Reverse and Justice in Reverse. And I think I said the Empress, but this is in fact the Emperor. The Empress is over here in where things are headed. So the Emperor in Reverse. I believe this is saying you no longer have much excitement about coming into a position of power or fighting for justice, fighting for a fair outcome either for yourself or for some larger cause. You feel that you've been manipulated in these areas in the past. So the power you've gotten is not true power, and the justice you've achieved is not true justice. Let's look at where things are headed. The 
there's some stability there and the potential to create, but what is that potential? How is this going to come about? And the card I'm getting here is the world in reverse. It almost seems to say it's not time yet. Let me get another card here. There's still... There's still stuff you have to complete before you can go on to your next uh, cycle or what's coming next for you. And Six of Wands. Well, you thought you had a quiet success here, but it's going to be recognized, and that's of some significance here. All right, well, let's see about this outcome. What is this devil about? And the card that wants to fall out is the Eight of Swords. So recognizing that you're not limited in who you can be and what status or what position you can hold, what you can accomplish. This card is the key to the whole reading, I feel. Maybe these last two cards. Recognizing how much you've changed in the last few weeks and how much is possible for you now. And it kind of makes sense that until you understand what you've become as a result of your recent work, you wouldn't want to choose what you want to become next. You'd want to see where you are and what's possible for you and then decide. So in that case, let me look at the thoughts position. You were looking at the world, making plans, or trying to. Trying to see where in the world we belong. The card I'm getting here is the Queen of Cups in reverse. Well, see, you don't want to make this kind of plan until you're really feeling good about yourself and there's a kind of a block there. There's a lot of confusion, things still to integrate from what's just happened. So it makes sense to wait till you can fully recognize what you've done in the recent past, what you've already completed. Own that, feel good about it, and then you'll be able to choose where you want to go to next. I will get one more Oracle card for guidance. What should the viewer think of, focus on at this point? The card jumping out is extraterrestrial. Well, I mean, think outside the box. I mean, this is the card that literally says, think outside the planet. So the possibilities are bigger than you can imagine. Definitely, this is not the time to latch on to the first thing that comes along, but take time to realize how big things are, how big the possibilities are. Well, I hope this helps. Good luck setting an intention, bringing it into reality in the next couple of weeks. Happy New Moon.